hey guys, let's solve this three by three system. It means we want to find the X, the Y, and the Z that makes all three of these equations true. So let's take these first two equations and copy them down here. And let's take the last two equations and copy them down here. I'm going to get rid of Z out of these two equations and get rid of Z out of these two equations. And we're going to use a process called elimination. We're going to multiply this top row by two and this bottom row by negative five. The two will distribute to make this a 20X, a 2Y, a 20Z, and the two will distribute here to give us an 84. And then the negative five will distribute. Negative five times 11 is negative 55X. This 20 will become negative 100 and the four will become negative 20. And then negative five times 84 is negative 420. Now we can add these two rows together. 20x minus 55x is negative 35x. 2y minus 100y is negative 98y. 20z minus 20z is nothing. And 84 minus 420 is negative 336. We were able to get rid of the z. Now let's do the same thing down here. In this case, all we have to do is multiply the bottom row by negative 4. So the negative 4 times the 1 is negative 4. Multiply by the 40 gives us negative 160, and multiply by the 1 is another negative 4. And negative 4 times 84 is negative 336. And let's add these two rows together. 11x minus 4x is 7x. 20y minus 160y is negative 140y. 4z minus 4z goes away, and 84 minus 336 is negative 252. We've now gotten rid of the z out of these two equations. So now we have two equations and two variables. We're going to use these to get rid of one of the variables. I think it's going to be easiest if we get rid of x. We can multiply both sides of this bottom row by 5. 5 times 7 is 35, and 5 times negative 140 is negative 700. And on this side, 5 times negative 252 is negative 1260. Now we're ready to add these two rows together. The negative 35 and 35 cancel each other out. Negative 98 minus 700 is going to be negative 798. And negative 336 minus 1260 is negative 1596. To solve for y, we can divide both sides by negative 798, and this gives us y is equal to 2. So we can update the y in our solution set to be 2. Now that we know that y is 2, we can plug in 2 for this y right here, and we want to solve for this x. 98 times 2 will give us 196, and then we can add 196 to both sides. On the left-hand side, these cancel, so we just have negative 35x. Now on the right-hand side, negative 336 plus 196 is negative 140. We can divide both sides by negative 35, and we get x is equal to 4. And so we can update this x to be 4. And now to solve for z, we're going to plug x and y into one of these equations and figure out what z is. Let's copy down this top one. Let's plug in 4 for the x, 2 for the y, and now we want to solve for the z. 1 times 4 is 4, 80. 4 plus 80 is 84, and then we can subtract 84 from both sides. We're going to have z on the left-hand side, and 84 minus 84 is 0. So we have z equals 0. So we can update the z equals 0 here. So this is the solution set, the x, y, and z that satisfies this system of equations. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.